a real street for today for Black Hat link building. This is going to be a step-by-step -step SEO tutorial. I'm going to walk you through exactly how you can do this. And then if you stick with me until the end, the best part is I'm going to share with you how you can get these seen and more importantly, how you can keep them in the forward facing index once they're seen. So of course, I don't want to waste time. I want to share with you exactly how you can start doing this step by step. So let's go ahead and start doing this now. So what I want to share with you is this. The very first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to grab a complete list. So as you can see here, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 20, what is that? 6, 27 different link types. So there's 27 different Google link types. Now these link types are derived from the different search engines regarding different countries. Now with that being said, not every country is the same, meaning that the types of links that we can go ahead and create will call for different types of redirects. With that being said, every time that you create these, not every single one is going to stick or be seen by third party tools or pass any type of power for that matter. So you're going to have to go through and implement these strategies. Again, this is for educational purposes only. I'm sharing with you how you can go ahead and do this, uh, but not all of them are going to take. And I've seen ones where they didn't take on my account or maybe on other test accounts. But then I've seen these properties like say dot it on other accounts. So I guess it really has a lot to do with where you're going to keep these hosted at so we can keep them crawled and keep them being seen. So of course, let's move into the next step here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to first start with, um, I guess a fan favorite because it's the second one on my list or the first one on the list, I should say after the main Google website. So the first things that I'm going to share with you is going to be how you can create direct google.jp redirect links utilizing a redirect type now again if you have not already i shared with you a magnitude of redirect links now it's not the links that i was truly sharing with you what i was really giving you were footprints of how you could create redirects so anybody that was really paying that's really into it and really gets into this type of black hat link building they were like hey these links are great these are dime a dozen but really what chris was giving you was hey here's a bunch of different ways that you can get these seen get them cached and get them to stick right i gave you a whole list there's all different types i mix i could have used the same one over and over again i mixed and matched on purpose for you people don't even know these things i'm like hey let me give this to you but in any case um, I'm glad that I can do it for you. So let's go ahead and, and move right into this. So for these types of links, yes, I have these. Again, I gave this list away. You can download it, get it, see it. You can try different variations. And this is not the only site that you can do it with. There's a magnitude of high powered sites out there. With that being said, let's start with the google.com.jp. And what you will want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and type in URL okay question mark and then type rct okay so that's rct equals j and then do the end url or maybe you can just type up uh, i think it's url equals and then what we want to do is we want to type in https colon forward slash forward slash and what we'll do is we'll just put in mine so you can see these for yourself okay so let's, oh, first one I did, did not work. So that's always fun. Oh, wait, let's make sure my site's up because I have a guy working on it. So give me one second. That could be my fault. Bear <laughs> with me. Oh, I love it. Or it could be a typo. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, so it could just be my site. Um, bear with me here. This is a live stream. These are the fun things that I love. Uh, let me just see if I typed it wrong. Okay, okay, so it's not the dub 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 version. I moved it to the dub 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 version. Why it's not redirecting is beyond me. The dude's redoing some things, but that's no problem. We're just going to keep moving forward. Now, instead of me having to type these things out, what I did do is on my redirect links, I think I put it on my, yeah, I, put, I have my list of Google links. 
What I went in here and I did for you is I've actually taken the one and I already rewrote it so I wouldn't have to keep typing things. And then I actually have another type that you can go ahead and do. And this is maps. Now I utilize these two the most, but I'm going to share with you a bonus one too. Just stick with me until the end. I'll share with you all of them. All right. So let's, let's go ahead and do this one here. So here's the um, link. Oh, that's probably why, because I put a uh, dot. All right, so here, we'll just go ahead and do this one first. As you can see, it's URL question mark, and that's why I messed up. I didn't put the forward slash, and I utilized the wrong URL initially. Question mark, RCT equals, J and URL equals, and then put a URL that you'd like to go ahead and get that link to, all right? So as you can see here, what we have done here is we have this particular domain, and now we have this redirect. All right. Now these redirects on this page are going to be calling for, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but yes, you're going to be able to get it to sit. But as you can see the power of this particular link here, if you take a look here, you have the HTTPS Chris Palmer. And as you can see, here's the score that it's calling for, right? It's on the base domain of this, of, of my domain. It's not actually calling for Google, but when you check in analytics or you check these sites, what you're going to tend to notice is it's going to actually show up. It'll be just Google JP is what it'll say. Japan, I, I believe that it is. So let me go ahead and just walk you through a couple more of these um, because we don't have to just simply utilize that type. I actually have another type here. If you take a look here, we have the RCTJ, but we also have the URL question mark SA. Let me go ahead and share this one with you. All right, so if we do the forward slash URL question mark SA equals, let me go ahead and share this one with you. All right, so this is just another way to go ahead and implement this if you wanted to do this. All right, so and again, that's up to you. This is just to go ahead and showcase it for you. So as you can see, previous sending you to the invalid URL. And the reason why it's invalid is because I did not type it in. So Chris Palmer, M-A-R-K-E-T-I-N-G.com. And as you can see here, again, this is another way to implement the redirect. However, because again, some of them are different than others. So I want to share you two variations. Plus, I gave you that additional list of redirect types that you can create. Now, the reason why there's so many different types is A, some sites only allow certain types of redirects to actually show up on a page like this. Two, more importantly, is it takes different types of redirects in order to get them seen and crawled. We need them to be seen and crawled initially on another source in order for them to be in the forward facing index so we can get credit, especially say you're trying to impress you're trying to do something where they're going to be seen and get the initial bump. You need them to be in the forward facing. It's not that Google doesn't see them. It's just that people don't see them, right? So for it to be impressive, people want to see it, even though Google already saw it as soon as it was made, right? So with that being said, let's keep moving forward. I'll go ahead and share with you a couple more of these. This particular list, I don't know. I've had it for a long time. I, I don't know where you could get it, but I'm sure you could probably get it somewhere. It's it's not too hard to uh, grab every single type of Google search engine that there is. And they actually have a whole boatload of different sites. They have like Get Creative. They have Maps. They have Local.Google. They have like all different types. But with that being said, let's move into the very next one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this URL question mark SA redirect type at the end here, but only this time what we're going to do is we're going to switch it out to .co.uk. All right. So what we're going to do now is we have the .co.uk. See, this is a whole different type, whole nother version. All right. As you can see, these are do follows. I'll go ahead and leave that on so you can see. But now we have the google.co.uk. So this would be the UK redirect version. And I'll go ahead and share with you just one more just to basically hit this home. It doesn't matter. Um, we can switch these around. Let's go down here and let's do um, CA. So that would be Canada. Um, and then that way, we, I think that ought to wrap it up for this type. And then I'll switch around the uh, per particular parameter so we can put in different types of redirects. All right. So just bear with me one moment here while I go ahead and just copy paste. It makes it a lot easier when doing this. We'll put the forward slash again. It's going to be URL question mark SA equals TN URL equals and then your 
particular address. Okay, so now what this is going to do is we have the .ca, so this is the Canadian version redirect, and this is going to be sent into the particular website. Now, what I, will, what I will do is I'll go ahead and share with you this other type. So we have the URL. This is, again, a whole nother type of redirect. All right, but we can really accomplish the same type of goal here. All right, so here's the RCT version. Okay, and again, we have it here. Here's exit to the previous page. Okay. And then we have this. Okay. Equals J and URL equals. All right. So let me just take a look here. Let me see if I could just type in A. All right. No, it did not. Okay. I just try to see A. So this is just J. All right. So now this is how you would implement different types of URL redirects from these Google sites. I see people offering this as a service anywhere between $10 a link all the way up to packages for 50, 60, 80. I think I even saw one for 100 for all of them. So for 24 or for whatever the number is, 27 links, 100 bucks, kind of crazy. But a lot of them show up in the DA if we're looking at DA scores in the 80 range, all right? If they're seen and crawled by these tools, I've seen tools say that they don't see them. It's a funny thing because I see them in the backlink profiles pretty frequently. <laughs> so with that being said, let's go ahead and just maximize the amount of value that I can share with you today. And let's go ahead and move on to another platform. Now, I'm not going to go through different redirect types, but I will share with you three separate sites that are properties of Google's that you can implement this on. Now, depending on your niche, depending on your goals, depending on what you're doing is going to greatly impact which of these sites that you're going to utilize. Now, it's going to be kind of ridiculous to have all three types in your entire backlink profile all at once. You know, you might want to space it out, but really depending on what you're trying to power or what you're trying to do will really determine if you're going to use the main Google type that we just did or this type here that I'm going to show you now. So if you come inside of here and you go to, all right, just go to images, okay, dot Google dot CA. Now we're able to create a image redirect link. All right. So say you're going into Google images, you, and, and I'm just utilizing this just at, to showcase, but we've taken these same types. All right. We've literally taken the exact same types that we had before. And what we have done is we have added in the URL. All right. So what we did is we went to images here. I'll show you this one. So images.google.tr. Okay. URL question mark S A equals T and URL equals HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. All right. Chris Palmer marketing. Okay. And what we have now is we have the images.com. This is a image link from the image directory on Google. So within images. So let's go ahead and move on. And for anybody that's here that has no idea what that is, I don't know how you wouldn't. But if we were to go to say crazy emoji, I don't know why I was looking that up. But if we went in here and went to images, this is what I mean by images. Like, so say we go in here to the images, it's the images section. All right. Now, as you can see, it's not necessarily up here, but when you go into Google images, you'll know exactly what I mean. But this is what I mean by image. I mean, literal images. Sometimes I get weird questions. So I just want to make sure I cover all bases. What I mean by images is literal images. Now let's move on to the very next type. Again, there's images. There's the main directories or the main search engines, which there's 27 different ones. Then there's the image variation. And then last but not least, definitely a, a fan favorite is going to be the maps.google.com. All right. Variation. Now with this being said, all right, this is for educational purposes only by no stretch of the imagination. All right. Am I saying that I would go out there and create these map links and send them into a GMB because this is a black hat video. What I really, what I really want to say is it, it actually has the reverse, it has the reverse on an account. So I, I mean, you can take that as you want, but if you were to point the, these type links into a asset, 
it would have the reverse effect, especially if sending it into a maps or maybe add a CID link or something along these lines, it would seriously and drastically um, have a reverse effect on that account. All right. So with that being said, um, I, I would I would not send these directly into the listing, but they work great for maybe business.google websites like the ones that are attached to the uh, particular GMB, which is attached to everything and powers up everything. It's also really good for maybe a Google site, uh, maybe anything. I, I would never, ever, ever, ever send links to a CID or a machine ID or any manipulated type code that's attached to the GMB asset. Sending links to the GMB asset is an absolute no-go unless it's at the level of maybe one or two and it has a very precise, very precise reason. And it's not that we're building links. It's that we're building a link or a URL address that we can then click in order to drive traffic into the listing. It's not that we're building links. We're building a link in order to push traffic. There has to be, an, it needs to be able to be found and be seen in order for us to pump traffic. It has to exist. All right, so I just want to make that totally clear. Please don't build these to your GMB. And I'm not trying to do the reverse card like the, the mind tricks, like literally this will hurt your listing. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and move forward. Um, I will show you this. Um, so again, here is the maps. So uh, just in case you did not know, it's going to be maps.google.com.tr. And depending on the location or the locale that you're going to be building in, okay, is going to greatly impact exactly how this URL is going to play out. Also, you can utilize the different redirect types. I also gave you two plus on that redirect sheet. I mean, there's a magnitude of them. All right. Um, I would not try any XSS on um, Google, like, you know, your bracket A, um, open A bracket, closed A bracket stuff. Like it does not work on Google. Trust me, I've tried it. It's a waste of time. They'll just cancel out their request and then they track your IP. So um, <laughs> I wouldn't do any of that kind of stuff with Google because they don't play around. Um, I've tried it and it's ineffective. I've tried every XSS. There is all different um, type of payloads. Um, it is not effective by any stretch of the imagination. So with that said, let's go ahead and try this out so I can go ahead and share with you how this works. So it's going to be maps be forward slash. Okay. And then in order to do this, you're just going to simply type in URL. Okay. And then a question mark. All right. And then all you have to do is type S a and then equals equals, and then maybe equals and, uh, equals S a and, uh, S now this is where we're going to set it up and I'm pushing it to a domain. And then as you can see, I must have missed something inside of here. Um, let me just see what I missed here briefly here. I must have just missed something. Oh, it looks like I missed something simple here. Well, here, why mess around, right? Chris, just copy and paste. Save yourself some trouble there, Chris. Um, we could use the TR, but really what I want to showcase is it doesn't matter, right? So here, we'll, we'll show you this one first. And then here, instead of TR, here I have a whole nother list here. Um, let's go to Canada. Okay. So instead of us doing this one, we'll go to the can Canadian version and then it's URL question mark S a not URL S a question mark equals. And then it's T end T is going to be the text. All right. And then this forward slash forward slash you'll put in the domain. All right. And then it will create your string. Now, some of these particular Google accounts, like these Google, like whether it's maps, whether it's whatever the case may be, some of them do not allow um, particular types of redirects. So you might have to try different variations. That's why I gave you these different kinds. All right. So in order to get the pop, you will need to try different variations. So what we'll do is we'll go to maps.google.com.tr URL S A H T T P S, and then we'll try the .com. All right. So now this time we have the maps redirect. All right. So this is TR. You can come right inside of here and you can do the CA. So this is the Canadian version. Can Canada perhaps does not have it. Um, so let's just keep going down. I don't know why they wouldn't. It's probably just slightly different. So TR, let's try. Um, how about BE? We can try BE. All right. I guess you're gonna have to try. How about ES? Um, how about um, TR? Okay. So 
In any case, try the different redirect types, try the different platforms. What I walked you through was three different types. I showed you how to create the main redirects that you see that will skyrocket an authority score, maybe not inside of Ahrefs, even though they'll show up, it might not affect it, but there's still definitely power being passed if you can get them initially seen. Now, I've also walked you through exactly how you can step-by-step -step create the image redirect links, and then I took it a step further and I showed you the map redirect links, and this is just utilizing Google. Now, aside from that, I also shared the redirects, two different types for this particular video, but in a past video for EDU, I shared 12 separate redirect types that will allow you to add different text, print different text, and make it show up in different places. You can play around with these things like I did. I can't just give it to you, right? So play around with these things. You will be able to effectively create image, map, and main domain from Google backlinks. But now I want to just, again, pile on the amount of information into one video, and let's take it one step further. So a lot of questions that I received last time for the redirect video for the .edu was, hey, we understand, okay, now we can create these. Yes, they show up. Yes, they're seen. Yes, they're do follow. But how do I get them once they're actually there? If the website does not cache the files internally, right, where it's going to create like a cache equals, you know, like websites, sometimes they're going to cache it. They'll keep it for seven days. Some websites keep it for two weeks. Some websites keep it for 30 days. And then that file sometimes will get crawled amongst other things like it's attached in the sitemap, the HTML sitemap, which then gets crawled. It's not no followed. It's not no indexed. It's being seen, right? These, these things happen. I'm just giving a scenario. But with that being said, there's another way that I really like to get these types of links seen and crawled so we can start getting credit. So the, one of the ways that I really like to do this is by then taking a URL, okay? So let's just take this maps.google.tr link where we are creating this redirect notice going from Google Maps over. So we can really start to create maybe proximity authority maybe we were building a, a maps redirect to another prop we won't get into how you can utilize this i just want to share it with you but with that out of the way so how do i get these seen and crawled so one of my favorite ways to do this is by having sites that will openly showcase more notably they have to be authoritative and they openly showcase urls and they openly have a lot of traffic. They get a lot of people. They get a lot of visits. The URLs stay there, even so much so that you'll see these URLs show up in your backlink profiles, even in Google Search Console. Now, these types of sites that I look for, and I won't give you every single one of them, but I will lead you to one of the top done datas in this space. So if you're ever looking for maybe like website checkup, okay, sites like these, you might have used them in the past. Now you're not looking for the best ones, all right? But sites maybe perhaps like this, all right? Where you would then create or, or make a URL. And I'm not saying it's this one, but sites like this, where you're gonna do a checkup, where things are going to be seen. It's going to create a page a lot of times and it's going to stay housed on their servers. Now, why this is really massive is because not only will it stay there, but it will end up getting seen and crawled multiple times. Also, these sites are prime hub. Maybe not this one. But these sites are prime hub for those scraper sites, for those ping sites. People are always going to these sites. It's pretty consistent. Another one is going to be, maybe not that one. Like, let's take a look at some of these. Um, website grader, rank math. Let's find a really good one where, you know, they'll, they'll actually put it online. Let's go to like a free website check worth right so free website worth so this is another one like site price this is another really good example okay of these type of sites so then what you'll do is you'll come in here and you'll throw this in let me just double check this so you'll come in here you'll put in the https you'll throw this in okay so this one won't let me do it invalid url this one won't let me let it fly okay that's just this one all right but you get the point, maybe site worth, these types of sites where they're gonna take it and they're gonna house it and it's going to sit there. What's another really good one? So like the site worth, the site checkups, right? So like 
a website checkup. Okay. So, and maybe this, these, that particular map type might not fly as well as say Google link. So let's just, maybe let's just take one of these. Um, so here's a really good one, right? This one's usually going to be a, uh, where's the page at where it shows you? Well, this is just one opportunity, but these types of sites, link checkups, they're checking the value of the site. They're giving you the grade. There's even like SEO score websites where they'll keep it on the, on their website. It's like, they're just helping us index these types of links. And these are generally pretty authoritative domains and there's pages and pages of them. And once you find one, I'll give you another helpful tip for these. Like these are great for the EDU sites because you usually get a, a different type of URL string. You can usually have the real site first where the, the sites are going to take it. Like this is a straight redirect from the beginning, but there are sites that are going to take it. But what you'll find is this, you know, when you're putting these inside of here, in any case, let's, let's, I don't want to give, don't give away too much here. All right. But th this is the strategy that we're looking for. All right. So here, let's, let's bring up one more of these. Um, so URL, let's just do like something like this. Okay. So here's this one. So we're going to use the SA and then here's another one type. So we'll go, we'll head out here to Google and then here, let me show you another type of, of what I mean to get these types of things seen, crawled, you're building links to them or they're sitting out there on the web. And these sites get like, when you check cache dates on some of these sites, you know, like get more info, these sites are getting crawled pretty frequently. So what we could do is we could do like, um, check SEO score free, right? Something like that. But these types of sites, check in your score, check in your on page, check in. I, I want to say SEO checkup does a good one. So look at right on the page. Usually they'll give you a URL, which is even be better. How about SEO checkup? I think that that's one of them. Um, let me see. Is that the site? Here, let's go to this checker. Let me see if it's this one. Accept the cookie URL. Here, let's throw this one in. All right. Some of them will give you a... Yep. This one's one of those kind. So it'll give you an actual URL and you, you've probably seen these inside of your ser like search console inside of your backlink checkers where you'll get like, um, kind of like this one. Here's another one. So these are some examples like raw ranked, right? Raw ranked.com like sites like this, you know, these are the kind of sites you want to start plugging this stuff into and they're just doing all the work for you. Um, another really good one is like, the list goes on, but you get and understand the point. So just to wrap up this video, what we walked through today, starting from beginning until end was the different 27 types of Google domain search engines that we can create, do follow, redirect links from. So I walked through the 27 domains utilizing the search engine, 27 domains utilizing different image types. And then I walked through the 27 Google types of maps. Now, if you take a look at the subdomains owned by Google, there's dozens, there's, there's dozens and dozens of these domains. You don't just have to look at Google. You can also start looking at other authoritative properties that maybe have search features or other types of features that are going to allow you to create a redirect on their website. Then you're going to follow the same process. The goal is to get other authoritative sites that are frequently getting crawled because of their authoritativeness to make pages based on the redirect link. Once we can do this, then we can get it seen, we can get it crawled and we can get credit. With that being said, I hope that you enjoyed today's search engine optimization tutorial. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any future questions related to Black Hat SEO, search engine testing, search engine optimization, local SEO, Google My Business, Google Maps, affiliate SEO, really anything, never hesitate. Feel free, go ahead and ask me in the section below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next Black Hat SEO, link building SEO tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.